get this question all the time that how I can provide more options to my user to connect with multiple wallet provider, not only with MetaMask, they want to use Connect Wallet as well. So in this video, I'll show you that how you can add that. This particular library is very powerful. I hope you guys have followed this particular project in that we have used the exact library, which will allow you to connect with a multiple wallet. So I will disconnect simply. And if I click on this connect here, I will have multiple wallet. I can simply click and connect with the MetaMask because that's what I have in my browser. But if I want to use any other wallet providers like Rembo, Coinbase, Connect Wallet, or you can configure your own network. So you can simply do that. If you don't have this extension installed, you can simply click on this Connect Wallet and it's going to give you this scanner. You can scan in your phone and you can connect it with the app. So this is a really very powerful library. You can simply customize and add other network as well. So in this video, I'll show you that how you can do that particular configuration as per different blockchain and how you can integrate this particular wallet provider. So you click and connect and here I'm connected and it's fetching the details about my contract. I have this much token. That's all is working fine. So I believe that you guys have followed this entire project. Make sure to follow the complete project. You will understand that how we have utilized this particular wing provider for connecting with the wallet. Now come back to the code structure. So this is the project code which we have coded together in the complete project. So make sure to follow this complete project. So here I have done the configuration. So I have installed the library and I'm using this chain ID, chain configuration, create client and wig config. The main thing you have to do is here. So you can see this is the place where I'm doing the configuration. So I'm deploying the contract in two different blockchain network. One is Sofali and this one is also a Ethereum chain, HO Husky. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. If I open this one, you will find that this particular configuration you have to do manually because in the library, which we are utilizing in that you won't find this auto configuration. So you have to provide the manual configuration along with the RPC URL and the chain ID. So you can see I'm providing the chain ID, then I'm giving the name. This is the network name and this is the currency and the symbol. Here we have the RPC URL, which we are using from this particular website, which you can check. So if you want to configure any other blockchain, you can simply come back here in this particular site. There you will find different blockchain RPC URL. So simply come here, click on that. If you want to connect Polygon, you can take the main net, you can go to the test net and you can copy and that's what you can configure. So that's what we have configured. So we are getting this information from our environment variable. This is the contract address. This is the Sofali RPC URL and this is the like the other test network RPC URL we have. So that's the configuration we have done. So this is the chain ID configuration. It's going to be added in the MetaMask and here we have the RPC URL configuration. This is the public node. So that's what we have to trigger. And here we can provide the additional information, which is the block explorer. Once the transaction will complete, we can redirect the user to the block explorer where they can verify the transaction. So this is the exact configuration you have to do if you want to go with the manual configuration. So you can manually configure all of these details and you can connect with any blockchain. So again, I would suggest you to come back in their documentation there, have explained every single thing, or you can simply follow the project we have built and that I have given you all the demo, all the explanation that how we are connecting. So you can simply go through that. They have multiple features they have included. So this is how you can integrate multiple wallet provider where users can simply interact with your smart contract. So I hope you guys have understood that how you can simply do that. It's really powerful. You can display the balance or even you can customize the theme of this particular one. So currently I'm going with the dark one. If I come back here, here they have the theme. So you can see this is the CSS file we are importing, which is for this one. And if I go back to the theme, so this is the chain ID configuration. This is the connector. And here I've given the name of my contract, which I have explained in the project. And here we have the theme. So this is the client side in which we are providing all of that. So it's going to be auto connector, connector, and we have the provider. It's going to take the our RPC URL. Then we have the theme. So you can simply check and you can define any theme which you want. So you can define the color, you can define the light and dark. That's all you can configure. So this is really very powerful. So in the coming project, I will try to include this particular wallet because it's give more options to the user so they can simply connect. So make sure to follow this complete project. You will understand everything that how we have included this and it's really powerful. So make sure to follow the complete project. You will understand everything.